Hello everyone, we have a new game. I'm not so happy with how I played, but let's see what happened. I was black against Chess Master 867 with the rating of 2264. So Chess Master opened with e4, d6, d4, knight f6, knight c3, e5. That's our repertoire. Now bishop e3, a new move for me. I took on d4, trying to simplify, but I missed the simple move, uh, knight g4, because I'm attacking his bishop, and also this pawn is hanging, and the bishop has no good squares. For example, uh, bishop d2 just drops a pawn, uh, so if he wants to preserve the bishop, he has to go all the way back, but then I can still simplify the same as I did in the game, but uh, with my knight here and his bishop here, which should be beneficial <clears throat> for me. I missed that completely, so I just took quickly on d4. Now I attacked his bishop. Uh, I want to either take a dark square bishop or a light square bishop after this, uh, so he can choose, or he can preserve it uh, with bishop e3, which he did. Uh, g6, I decided to fianchetto, f3, so now we can see white is just preparing to attack me on the king side. With queen d2, probably he's gonna castle long and then some violent things will happen. So, I wanted to prevent bishop h6, so I played h5 to control that square two times. Uh, but actually, uh, bishop h6 was not possible. I completely missed that. Uh, had I castled, if he goes bishop h6, I have this shot. Knight e4 attacking the queen, and when he takes queen h4 check, uh, picking up the bishop and ending up with an extra pawn. Uh, but of course, uh, after castles, uh, he doesn't have to go to h6, he can also castle long. And now he's ready for this stuff. And um, yeah, he has a promising position. But anyways, I, I played h5 to somehow um, not stop, but to delay his attack. So he played knight e2, I played queen e7, so I'm trying not to castle. Uh, I'm just trying to not give him a target, because it's not easy for me uh, to start an attack. I'm too slow. Um, so that was my logic, but maybe my logic was flawed, who knows. Uh, he played a not so good move, knight d4, because uh, he's making my life easier. I'm suffering from a lack of space, and uh, he should keep uh, as many pieces as possible. And I should also exchange here, but for some reason I played h4. I was thinking that maybe with this knight from c6 I will attack f3, and undermine it, so I was hoping for some active measures on the side where my opponent is stronger, so maybe not a sound plan. So as you can see, not really a good game. Uh, my opponent decided to castle queen side, and uh, now I exchange on d4, and here I played bishop h6, uh, hoping to exchange pieces. If he goes back, I'm happy. We exchange uh, one pair of bishops, and now the remaining pieces, in my opinion, are not enough to organize a dangerous attack. So I can safely now castle um, kingside. So that was my plan. But he, of course, avoided it. So he played f4, preserving just enough pieces on the board. And here, I played c6, uh, trying to prevent a knight d5, but the thing is, this knight is pinned. So what I need to do, I need to castle, no matter how dangerous it looks. Because with the king in the center, I have no hopes of winning or even surviving. But when I castle, I give him a target, but I also organize my pieces, so the thing is, he's gonna attack me on uh, these files and diagonals, but I will try with my pieces to 
somehow control his attack and probably he's gonna lose or sacrifice a pawn or two and then it's gonna be a fight and better player will win but I first played c6 controlling this square and I lost valuable time I lost time there and after g3 it came it became obvious to me that my position is really bad so I developed this bishop with a tempo uh, he moved his rook and now I would love to go on this side but it's dangerous it is dangerous first of all this pawn is hanging and the second of all after that pawn falls my position becomes compromised so that's not possible so I said okay what can I do I have to go on the short side and now because there is no more pin I can activate this knight and maybe hope for something actually not but that's what I hoped for after a good move h3 I cannot retreat this bishop without uh, attacking something because then for example bishop d7 g4 I think I can just resign here that's hopeless uh, this is a threat this is a threat and this is a threat so I cannot stop all these threats that's why I played bishop f3 attacking his rook so he has no time for g4 and of course after rook g1 it's a terrible position for me because he can use uh, the g file now yeah and uh, i don't see a good ways to stop him maybe somehow but it looks dreadful but he made a big mistake he played bishop g2 which looks like a logical move you develop a piece you exchange my most active piece but actually after this exchange there isn't enough pieces for him um, to complete this attack or to follow up what he started and now I told you before my only chance is to defend and to attack his central pawns in the process or kingside pawns and now this is happening I I didn't defend it happened that the attack evaporated and now he just has plenty of weaknesses so let's observe what happened he's just lost now uh, that's just because his pawns are dropping uh, look uh, this guy is hanging and this guy too uh, if he pushes then I have the simple check and then my knight will go there blunting completely uh, all of his heavy pieces so he understood that so he played bishop f2 but after this exchange this pawn is dropping so bishop g3 and I wanted to take with the knight that's the preferable way to take to preserve this strong bishop but I saw queen d2 and I thought oh that pin is unpleasant but obviously today I'm not in form so I didn't see a simple knight d3 winning the queen and because of that uh, miss I took in an um, undesirable way with the bishop because now we exchange bishops and that helps him a little bit uh, maybe now he is not lost anymore he has a bad because with that bishop I would control everything now with two knights huh, it's tricky but okay queen g4 and I just played it simple knight h5 uh, queen e5 was interesting that was my plan uh, to set him a trap uh, like this and if he goes rook f5 hoping to win my knight I have queen g3 and now if he takes I take and then take but he can go to d1 and then if I take I lose a queen so this was all too complicated so while calculating I just decided all right let's not let's make it simple let's just go back you know I, I lose some time I go back but I defend everything and I try slowly to um, fend off his pieces so he played rook g1 now he threatens to capture my knight so king h7 and now he decided to lose so he played knight e2 uh, what was the idea I don't know but now this pawn is hanging and even this knight I mean I don't know what he wanted to exchange one more piece with the pawn down I, I'm not sure so after knight e2 I just play rook e8 this guy is dropping if he goes back uh, now I can start the attack I mean I want to undermine this pawn 
the knight and then the pawn. But if he tries to prevent it, uh, then the files are starting to open up on the queen side. So he played knight g3. So he spent two moves to exchange his good defending piece for my defending piece, but I don't know. After this, this, his pawn drops. And I'm threatening also to take his rook. And I don't know, for some reason, he didn't see it. So I took his rook. And uh, if he wants to, uh, he can go for a king walk with a rook down. And who knows how he will lose here. It's lost, but many chances to lose in different ways. Or he can lose another rook with uh, rook g1 i just give this check and uh, i take the rook because he cannot take my rook or because of checkmate so after queen h1 my opponent resigned so not a good game i failed to play accurately i even failed to uh, i understood the position but i didn't understand the timing of the moves so i'm not really happy with this game but, it, yeah, my opponent helped a little bit, so we won. All right, thank you for watching, and see you again. Bye.